Breaking this noon, so many prayers were answered. Carlicia Freeland Gaither is found safe and sound. Her alleged abductor behind bars. And this noon, he's heading to court. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Pat Shiraki. Later on today, we are going to be hearing from Carlicia's relieved family. The man police say dragged her off a of Germantown street has a long criminal history. We have live Team 3 coverage for you. Our Cleve Bryan is in Carlicia's neighborhood with family reaction. But let's begin with investigative reporter Walt Hunter, who broke this story last night. He is live at police headquarters. Walt? Well, Pat, the more that police investigators are learning about the accused kidnapper, Delvin Barnes, including his criminal record, which runs beyond two dozen pages, the more relieved they are that they were able to arrest him without violence and to free his alleged victim before she was hurt. Nearly invisible in the darkness, surrounded by family members, kidnapping victim Carlicia Gaither began the journey home after being checked out and released from a Maryland hospital. Delvin Barnes, her alleged kidnapper, was arrested late Wednesday afternoon as agents surrounded his car in Jessup, Maryland. Barnes accused of abducting Carlicia Sunday night in Germantown, dragging her for nearly a full city block and throwing her into a car as she kicked out the window in a desperate attempt to escape. Carlicia, in the car with the suspect during the arrest, suffered no serious injuries. Had she not been uh, recovered and rescued as quickly as she was, we don't know what the outcome would have been with her. Barnes, who was tracked down with the help of surveillance videos at the time of his arrest, was also wanted in Virginia on attempted murder charges, accused of sexually assaulting and burning a teenage girl. This is a bad guy. There's no question about it. Uh, he's off the street, needs to be off the street for the rest of his life. Now, this attack was, according to police, totally random, a random kidnapping. And because of that, the police commissioner now says he's ordered his department to look at all missing persons and similar descriptions of attacks to see if this suspect perhaps might have struck elsewhere or previously. We'll have much more on the developing investigation when we join you later. For now, live from police headquarters, I'm Walt Hunter, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Walt, thanks very much. We are learning more about the suspected kidnapper, Delvin Barnes. He was arrested back in 2005 in Philadelphia on charges of aggravated assault, false imprisonment, burglary, and reckless endangerment. He is currently being held on a bench warrant in a separate case for alleged attempted capital murder in Virginia. We spoke to the FBI on what happens next. He is being currently held on a warrant based out of the Charles City County, Virginia uh, Sheriff's Office for attempted capital murder, assault, malicious injury with acid, explosives, or fire. This was from a previous case that he was being investigated for. So uh, he will then be charged uh, federally uh, with the crimes here in Philadelphia. Now, police in Virginia say they linked Barnes's DNA with a case involving a 16-year-old girl who went missing October 1st and was later found bleeding, burned, and smelling of bleach and gasoline. Well, we encourage you to stay with us here on Eyewitness News as we keep you up to date on the rescue of Carlicia Freeland Gaither. Sign up for Eyewitness News text alerts on CBSPhilly.com and by searching the hashtag CBS3Breaking on Twitter and Facebook.